G'day from WA. Now, first beach in WA. Um, it's quite nice, <laughs> however, we've just had the uh, tropical cyclone Saroja roll through past the coast a couple of days ago, so we just got the aftermath of that. Been downgraded to a tropical low, something like that. So that's affected some of the beaches and the conditions. So we're at Membinup Beach. And um, so we've been seeing this on um, some other family, traveling families, Insta faces and all that sort of stuff. And it looks amazing. And I'm sure it does, but not after a, uh, a tropical lows breeze through the place. So I'll just show you, <laughs> you know, the, the beautiful um, pictures you see on all the socials and whatnot. However, you get to these places and the reality is this. I can see the attraction, it is very, it is very nice. The sand's beautiful and white. Um, but um, geez, the tide's coming up quite high at the moment. Apparently you can camp on the beach all the way over there, but uh, we didn't risk it yesterday because there was just too, a bit too much water on the at the entry point. But it is really hard compacted sand that you could easily drive on, but uh, the juice wasn't worth the squeeze when it was still blowing 40k an hour yesterday when we rocked up. And we came here during the rain, uh, so yeah, everything is filthy again. But we just camped back here at the... Um, just at the back of beach bit, only what, 50 meters away, so good spot, pretty easy to get into. Oh, uh, it's pretty tight with um, our length caravans. So we're not gonna hang around here waiting for the weather to fine up, we're gonna keep moving, probably go to another beach spot or head into the Cape Le Grand National Park. Right, eh? I'll show you our setup. Here's a good little comparo that uh, I found interesting. So we both travelled on the same roads at the same speeds and same pressures and whatnot yesterday. So this is Stone Guard. And the amount of dirt you get with a Stone Guard. versus Stone Stomper. Oh, shut up. <laughs> You've got to show that I don't have mud flaps. There are no mud flaps on the car. Come nah, on. Nah, not showing it. <laughs> no. Look at it all. <laughs> it's filthy. Yeah, the disco loves roughing it. Yeah, but she does not place. have mud guards. <laughs> Apparently they're coming in Perth. down here for a bit of a day trip so enjoy the place. Yep, not quite sure how much swimming you'll do. No, I don't think so either. It's too cold. Stop it. Stop it. What is your problem? You're not a whistle.
Ravensthorpe and there are three more painted silos to look at. So we've just come into town, had a look around, found a sweet shop with the world's largest freestanding lollipop. So of course we had to do that, but uh, here are the three silos. So we've just come up here from Freestay down the road at Mullingup. Probably said that wrong. And uh, it was good. Left Esperance. And then we're heading from here down to Hope Town. So just a bit of a mooch around, having a look around the places. These silos are pretty good. Not as spectacular and bright as some of the ones we've seen, but nonetheless, they're painted all around. Right, so we've made it to Bremer Bay. And I'm just perching up here for a couple of days. Oh, look, we should do a cooking segment. A cooking segment? Yeah. Yeah. That's what Letitia's doing inside. Mm. Letitia's making cakes inside. Show you that in a sec. And Rhonda's out here making special fried lice. Or special fried rice. That's right. Something to do. Yes, yeah, so we're at the Bremer Bay Caravan Park. Really nice. Bit overcast here today. And we got some weather coming in, so it's going to get rainy later on. So, sort of like having a bit of a chilled out day, maintenance day, cleaning day, catch up on things. Whenever we stop, we got to wash. That wash machine gets a blogging but highly recommend it it's paid well and truly paid for itself and it's saved us how much money do you reckon it's saved us oh, hundreds four dollars five dollars a load and then drying time mm. maybe if you don't know where they're hanging or whatever but uh it's just good to get on top of it as opposed to getting to a caravan park or a laundromat and spending all day doing washing yeah where are the sprinkles we don't have any sprinkles. Is it good to stick lollies on a cake? Lollies? I wouldn't do lollies. Okay, what can I use? Well, aren't we going to decorate with stuff on top when it's done? Oh yeah, and I'm also going to do an icing. Yeah, you can make an icing. Come inside and see my kitchen. Teddy's birthday today, so I'm making him a cake and have a look, it's turning into a jungle like mine was. It's it's getting green. And then I'm gonna make some icing, decorate the top, put some dinosaurs on it. Yeah. Alright, so we got the finished product ready. Oh, watch your head. Yeah. Ready for the big reveal. Talk to people through it. Ta -da! Well done, taste. Nom, nom, nom. Get in me. I'm wondering if you can hear that. This is the Bremer Bay wind turbine. And we're directly underneath it. <laughs> Far out. Check this out. Six hundred kilowatt wind turbine provides forty percent of the power to Bremer Bay. How impressive is the sound? Awesome. The size of it. <laughs> Better go and save the girls. They're freaking out, being parked right underneath the blades. All right, good morning. We are still in Bremer Bay and we're off for a bit of an explore today. Go and check out as many beaches as we can 
in one day around Bremer Bay. Bit of a poet, didn't even know it. <laughs> it's on fire. We're just finishing off some school work in here. Fire? No one's on fire. What did you say was on fire? I said I am because I'm pretty much a poet and I didn't even know it. <laughs> what are you working on? History. What sort of history? Uh, conviction. Early Australian convicts. Oh, early Australian convicts. Up to my last one, then we're heading off. Yep, just doing the last bit, and then she's gonna, then we're gonna head off. So many beaches we can dominate. <laughs> All right, here we are at the Big Mermaid. And you're gonna slay in front of it and go between its boobies. <laughs> Ready? <sighs> I love mermaids. <laughs> Doesn't get that at home, does he? It's quite sexist, you know. You get in trouble for that. of humiliated my dad last time when he got bogged. I'm gonna do it again because we are bogged. Isn't that right, Dad? So, we are trying to swim at this incredible beach, but no, we have to end it by getting bogged. You know, just awesome, Dad, you know? You're the superhero. Thanks a lot. Oi. We're not Bob. Oh yeah, what are we? We're momentarily stuck. Definition of bogged. Anyway, apart from that disaster, I have to show you this amazing beach that we might go for a swim in. It's just right along there. It's like crystal. Aqua. What do you think? It is a nice looking beach. Yeah, but the definition of bog is literally what my dad said. So. The old, we're just stuck. If we were stuck, we couldn't get out, but we are bogged. Nah, we're good. All good. Uh, famous last words. Here. You gonna go to swim? Oh, the water looks bloody amazing. Amazingly inviting to go for a swim. Um, I don't know. People out here try and Having a fish, trying to catch some salmon. Oh, this this sand's heaps softer than what we've been on before, eh, sweetheart? Hey, can I go for a fish? Yeah, grab your rod out and have a flick. Ah, oh, yes. Yes, yes. Love that law. They do.
Oh, no. oh bloody hell. What about an amateur hour? You can't even get the max steps in there. Where's he again? Alright, so the first attempt didn't go so well. And I think we're deeper. Time for Max Tracks. Hopefully we can get out of this stuff. It's super soft here. Um, yeah, let's see how we go. Yeah. Right up the way. Seeing it and stuff, it's gonna go everywhere. Gonna have to watch where the You gotta fill in all the holes, sweeter. Because we made a mess of the beach. <laughs> I know. Jeez, we were down a fair way. Daddy, Daddy, I'm the only one that's taking these mat tricks out because I like stepping on the paddles. It doesn't want you to. That's why you always travel with max tracks. Oh no, so we're about to leave Main Beach, Bremer Bay and head to another beach, maybe. But um, hot tip if you're coming here, <laughs> air down. <laughs> we just assumed it'd be like all the other beaches that we've driven on so far and be hard and compacted, but uh, nah, super soft. So, off we go. See Hello, if we can, you can see me. See if we can get out of here without getting stuck. <coughs> Hope so. of Bremer Bay. Left the Bremer Bay Caravan Park and now we're heading to... Where are we going, sweater? Cozy Corner. Cozy Corner, that's right. So heading to Cozy Corner, which is on the other side of 
on the western side of Albany. Perch up there for a few days, eh? Yep. Probably five or so, I guess. After Anzac Day. Probably leave. Yeah. You can only stay seven anyway. Oh, is it? Right. Alright. Rolling out here and we'll check in later. Yep.